once, he wanted her abilities back, and after seeing firsthand what that power could do, Cole understood why. Since arriving in the outskirts, Cole had flirted with death several times. While scouting sky castles, escaping Skyport, and battling his way through a dreamlike land created by some magical kid. And there was no foreseeable end to the danger. How many near misses could he expect to survive? Home felt a million miles away. The actual distance was probably even worse. From all appearances, the outskirts existed in a whole separate universe. But Cole was here in Sambria, one of the five kingdoms, and that wasn't changing anytime soon. So all he could do was focus on their next goal. Mira's mother had used her shaping talent to place a star in the sky above honor, which meant Mira's sister was in trouble. But they had no other details. Not long ago, Mira's power had taken tangible form, and defeating it had nearly cost them their lives. Were they now heading toward a similar battle? They had no idea what threat Honor could be facing, but Mira was determined to rescue her. Bertram, the coachman, slouched forward on his bench, eyes on the floor, elderly features blank. As a semblance created by shaping, he didn't need sleep, but he wasn't designed to provide much company. He sometimes shared useful information about their route. According to Bertram, they would reach the border of Elawir tomorrow morning. The auto coach usually provided a smooth ride, so when it jostled over two rough patches in succession, Cole began to pay attention. The clip-clop of the trotting brick sounded faster than he had ever heard it. Then the rhythm of the trot changed to one of a loping stride, and the speed of the auto coach increased even more. Neither animal nor machine The auto coach had been created by shapers. It never tired, but it never went fast, either. Cole tapped Bertram. Why are we speeding up? The old man looked at him, lips quivering, one eye twitching. Bertram only spoke to share information about the roads ahead or to assure anyone who cared to listen that he was on holiday with his grandniece and grandnephews. Though his replies weren't always relevant, he had never failed to respond to a question. Guys, Cole yelled, something's wrong. Joe's soft snoring sputtered to a halt. He squinted at Cole. Is the coach running? Yes, Cole said, and Bertram won't talk. The old semblance wore a pained expression. One hand clenched sporadically. Joe hastily shook Mira and Jace. Wake up! Twitch sat up with a start. What's happening? He asked. The brick's pace increased to a pounding gallop. The auto coach rattled and creaked, then jolted over a sharp bump, jarring Cole's spine. Jace produced his golden rope, the magical item he obtained when he worked for the Sky Raiders. Mira reached for the jumping sword that their friend Liam had made for her before returning to the Grand Shaper of Sambria. Joe slapped Bertram briskly across the cheek. Bertram, slow us down. Stop the coach. Halt the coach, Bertram, Mira demanded. Face contorted, Bertram's lips peeled back as he ground his teeth. Drool leaked down his chin. Stop us, Bertram, Joe insisted. Stop us now. Rocking from side to side, Bertram screamed. The wretched, desperate cry filled Cole with panic. What could make the calm old semblance behave like this? If anything, the auto coach gained speed. Should we bail? Twitch asked slipping on his Elloween ring to reveal his semi-transparent wings and grasshopper legs. What about our stuff? Jace asked. You kids go, Joe instructed. Use your renderings to land softly. I'll stay with the coach to see where... His instructions were cut off as the auto coach launched into the air. For a moment... 
Hello. Today, I'm going to show you how to get this audiobook for free in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll guide you step by step. It's really simple and fast. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to listen to your audiobook for free. So, let's get started. Here are the steps you need to follow. Click on the link below the video to access the audiobook page. I want to emphasize that the method I'm showing you works with any book from the Amazon audiobook catalog offered by Audible. Make sure the option Free with Trial is displayed on the page. Then, click on the Try Audible button. You will be redirected to the Amazon website. If you already have an Amazon account, log in. Otherwise, you can easily create an account. Now, if you don't have an Amazon account, Here's how to create one. Click on the Create Your Amazon Account button at the bottom of the page. Fill in the fields of the form with your first name, last name, mobile phone number or email address, and password. Then click Continue to validate. You will receive a verification code at the email address you provided. Log in to that email account, copy the verification code, and paste it into the box requested by Amazon. Next, enter your phone number to receive a verification code via SMS. Insert this code into the box presented by Amazon and click the Create Your Amazon Account button. On the next page, Amazon will ask you to enter your credit card number. Don't worry, it won't be charged because it's the free trial period. If you decide to continue your subscription, you will be charged $14.95 per month after the free trial period. Click on Add Your Card. After adding your credit card, you will be redirected to this page asking for your personal information, such as first name, address, email, etc. Then click the Use This Address button. Once you have entered all the information requested by Amazon, you will finally arrive at this page. You will see that the book you have chosen is displayed, and all you have to do now is confirm it to listen to your audiobook. As you can see, the amount to be paid is $0. This first audiobook is completely free. Now click on the Try for Free button. Now your Audible account is created and you have access to your free audiobook. You can listen to the audiobook you chose directly on this Amazon page or on the Audible website. The most recent had been two years previously. I'd actually survived six months. I want to remind you once again that the method I've shown you here works with any book from the Amazon catalog audiobooks offered by Audible. Now, all you need to do is go to the Audible website, use your Amazon information to log into your Audible account, email address and password, and once you're logged in, click on the library menu. There you will find your free book, and all you have to do is click listen now to start listening. I'm not ashamed to admit that I cried like a baby. You also have the option to download the Audible app which will make it easier and faster to listen to the audiobooks in your library. From this point on, you have two choices. The first choice is to keep your Audible subscription and agree to be charged $14.95 per month. This will give you a monthly credit that you can use to listen to or download any audiobook of your choice, regardless of its price. If you want to enjoy one audiobook per month regardless of its price, simply make use of your subscription. The second choice is to cancel your Audible account before the end of the 30-day period. This way, you won't be charged $14.95, and you can keep access to your free audiobook indefinitely. To cancel your account, go to your Audible account, hover over the menu where your first name is displayed, and click on the Account Details link. On the page that appears, click on the Cancel Membership link. Scroll down the page, then click on Continue to Cancel on the next page. Audible will ask you for the reason for your departure. You can provide the reason of your choice, and then at the bottom of the page, click the Continue Canceling button. In this step, Audible will make a final attempt to keep you as a customer by offering you several deals that are truly interesting for audiobook enthusiasts. You can choose one of these offers if you wish to continue the adventure with Audible. Otherwise, click on Confirm Cancellation. There you go. Your Audible subscription is canceled, 
and you still have your free audiobook in your library without paying anything. Your credit card has not been charged. Take a look. Together, we will verify if the offered book is still available after canceling the subscription. To do this, click on the Library menu. I confirm that the book is still here, available in your account. You can listen to it whenever you want by clicking the Listen Now button and listen to it as many times as you wish. I was crying because I knew that I was condemned to be a smoker for life. Now, if you want to enjoy a free book and listen to it at any time, click on the link below this video and follow the steps I just described. Thanks to this, you can listen to your book for free anytime and as many times as you want in your Audible account.